Hello YouTube viewers and PlayStation Network lovers, welcome to Let's Play This Game If We Really Want To That Is. Today, Axiom Verge. I don't know if I pronounced it right. Now, of course, I've gotten very far within this game. And of course, um, we're not going to play it that way. I'm going to delete one file. And of course, I can. You know, like I can do it, you know, like I can copy it later. But I am going to talk to you about this game, Axiom Verge. Storyline's really good. Skipping the cutscenes, because it's too long, and plus, I want to just get to the gameplay. There's a lot of dialogue, want a little bit. Not that much. And of course it's it's really got that awesome Metroid base kind of um technological benefit, you know? Which is pretty cool. Now the one thing I actually have to say about this game is it's very good. But holy hell, it, does it get hard along the way. You can be playing this game for like hours. You know, it's very fun. The coolest thing is, you have the option of saving. Why do you want to save anywhere you want? Well, you'll find out if I end up dying during this Let's Play. That's if I want to die, that is. Now, the one thing I have to actually say is going through the tunnel thingies, it's like a real awesome thing, you know. Can't go through there with not until you get like a certain weapon. Because, it, you know, and of course, the this kind of thing, going from ledge to ledge, it's pretty good. And of course, you need certain weapons to get to certain areas of the game. I actually have this for, for this system for PlayStation 4 and my PS Vita. And you're going to want to collect that stuff when when you start running low on health. Which, your health bar is, um, if you don't, yeah, I could be haven't guessed it yet, is on the left side of the screen. Another thing that's a, you know, that is a Metroid kind of thing. 
which I actually have to say, the developers of this game must have played very much of it a lot in the 80s and stuff. And the reason why I say that is because, well, it's a fun game. Hard as hell, don't get me wrong. Definitely hard. And to get through some of the barriers, you're gonna have to use your wits. You're gonna have to come up with strategies, which, you, you know, is a really good thing to do when you're pretty much working, you know, like when you're actually trying to beat a game as hard as. You know, it took me a while to actually beat this game. But let me tell you, this game is, gets really hard along the way. Like, we're about to get our first weapon, which is in an egg. Now this weapon, you're going to want to use uh, most of the time, or a lot of the time. Especially on some of the enemies and bosses and stuff that you would have trouble getting to. Like, see here? But don't go like that. You know, you got to time the, the, you got to time the shot right. Like, like that. Or you're going to end up having to do stuff like this. This is like a really fun game. Very fun. Okay, I'm gonna switch back to normal gun because using that gun, you're gonna wanna you're gonna wanna switch your guns now and then. Especially Especially when you're strategizing your, yeah, your attacks and techniques and stuff. Which, when you're playing Metroid games and stuff like that, you have to strategize how to defeat your enemy and all that other stuff. Because if you don't want to get close to an enemy and get swapped with tons of enemies swarming at you, the one thing though is it's like a really slow progress to do. But it's very slow. for like a couple of months or so and actually ended up beating it probably sometime in February or March of this year. I was actually able to develop the ability to actually figure out how to do certain things with the game. You know? There are going to be areas in this game that you're going to have trouble getting to, like... Well, I'm going to actually show you. Like, up there, I don't have the weapon for that yet, so... Go here, because we're going to need this gun again. 
picking him up. Shoot, and the barrier is released. And you go here. There's a save point right here, so you, you know, we're gonna want to save here. Definitely. Why are we gonna want to save here? You'll see in a second. First, I want to do something first. Well, I'm gonna, yeah, I can't go there because, well, I don't have the weapon for it. Not yet, anyway. But we're gonna, yeah, we're gonna, here's where the fun starts. Once you see a red door like this, or a weird thing in the center of the room, you know you're in for a boss battle. This enemy, you have to pretty much, you have to plan your strategy perfectly. See, if you get too cocky with enemies, you're gonna die. Without a doubt. But the coolest thing is when you die, wherever the hell you saved, you come back to that save point. You know how I know that I'm right where I started from? Ta-da! I go through that boss all over again. Now, I'm gonna go back to the title. And I'm gonna show you. Now I'm gonna copy. I'm gonna copy one of my older files onto that one. And I'm gonna play this file. Now, where am I in this game? Pretty further than where I was before. And of course, I'm playing... Oh, that was not a good thing.
And of course, when I got this far, I got like more weapons and stuff. Now here's where I can you know, like where you get you know, like where the real fun begins. One thing now is I hope the teleportation thing. And of course I got him again. But this time, there's no way I can actually get through. So I'm just gonna skip him. Of course, I'm gonna wanna avoid stuff like that, so now it's gonna get even trickier. And of course, I died. And here, I have to stop here. Because now I start from where I began before. Right back to the beginning. So, I gotta, you know, like, I gotta stop playing and get rid of AI here. You know, because he's here standing, looking at me, really pissed off, and wants to kill me. So, you know, I'm gonna stop here. Uh, How can this, this be? be? Where the heck? Like, where did the spirit 
will AI 11 get this long blade sword from? So that could basically bend time and space and open portals even into the spirit world. Jesus. A really powerful weapon. But it was pretty weak, even for enough energy with this. Hmm. Guess I'm gonna have to do some research, some research on this sword. I wonder if I can basically find somebody online that knows anything about the long blade sword. Hmm. I gotta go. Like I gotta go make myself some. Get something to drink. Where the hell did he get this from? Really? Where did he get it from? Ha, ha, ha.